Well, welcome back, YouTube. Fat Cat Collections back at you with another product review. And uh, this one is going to be another smart home slash smart tech product. And I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Now, I already uploaded a video of this product the other day. And I just wanted to re come back to this product and review it again um, and just kind of touch base with you guys. Because what I like to do when I make these products is to, uh, you know, come back to them after I've used them a little bit. I always do the initial, you know, first impression videos. And uh, I wanted to upload another one real quick because I just did a review a couple minutes ago on the um, 97, uh, uh, the Loft by 97. It's a fantastic product for the Google Home. And I wanted to come back to this one here. And this is also another product by the company 97. And this one here is made for the Echo Dot. Now, if you're familiar with the Amazon Echoes, uh, they basically come in, I believe, three different sizes. You have your, uh, your full-size version, which I believe is close to $200.00. You have the new one that came out, which is slightly smaller, and then you have your Amazon, um, the Echo Dot. And the Echo Dot is the most affordable. Right now, you can pick those up for $29 in the holiday season. And basically, it's just a, like, if you don't know what it is, definitely check it out. But it's a voice-activated um, smart home hub, basically, is what it is. It gives you information on, on the, you know, uh, just by talking to it. It can control your smart home stuff. And it's basically uh, Google Home's competitor. And they both do different things, uh, but they are very, very similar. Um, the one thing about the Echo Dot that um, I should mention is that the Echo Dot was never really designed to be something that's going to sound good. It's got a very, very minimal speaker in it. It just basically has a speaker in order to be able to communicate with you so you can hear it. Play music through it. It doesn't sound good. It doesn't get loud. It's not really for that. And that's why if you want to go with the, the actual full-size Echo, uh, that's the one that you, want, you want to go with if you want the audio. And what's great about this is that you know, when I got the, the Amazon Echo Dot, I kind of got them because they were affordable. They are only $39 when I got them. And I got it to start to get involved in voice activation in this whole, uh, you know, smart home stuff. And what's great about this company is they've come out with this product, which makes the Echo Dot a much better sounding speaker. And it really is awesome. And it looks like it was something that came right from Amazon itself. In my opinion, it actually looks better than the full-size Amazon speaker. Now, as far as performance, I've never heard the full-size Amazon speaker, um, or the full-size Echo, although, like I said, I have the Google Home, and I'm very impressed with the way that that sounds, and this I'm very impressed with as well. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. So basically, it's, an, it's, got, it's made of plastic, of course. You have a rubberized bottom, so it gives you a nice grip, and your Echo Dot just basically sits right in here. You just plop it right in, and there's a cover in the back that's kind of like rubber, or it is rubber actually. And you just kind of pull that down when you pop it in, and you have two connections right there. You have your power, I don't know if you can see that. And of course you have um, your audio out connection. And, what's, and then you just you know, pop that back on, you're good to go. And it stays in there snug, it's not going to fall out. It's flush, it looks like it's meant to go there. Um, the device is actually square in the bottom, but round on top, so you have a very interesting shape. It kind of flares a little towards the bottom, you have this awesome black speaker cloth. This is available in a white and uh, more of a graphite color. Uh, 97 was nice enough to send me the old black version, which I like because it blends with my TV and stuff. And basically what you do is you just take your factory power cord and you plug it right into the back. And you also still have an audio out in the event that you want to plug this into something else. Um, and what you do is this thing basically not only allows you to have better sound, but it gives you up to four hours is what they say, um, run time to be a wireless speaker. So you can take this anywhere you want around your house, take it to the backyard, take it to the front yard, um, it, it, it makes your device portable, which is a, just a fantastic idea, and it's a fantastic product. Um, and just to kind of show you, Alexa, play Pandora. Getting the last Pandora station you listen to, Rick Ross Radio. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Got a All right, Alexa, stop. Now, I don't like to play music while I'm on YouTube because there's all kinds of copyright laws on YouTube as far as what you're allowed to use in film, and I don't like it if you have that audio in the background and then YouTube decides to cut the audio track where I have to refilm the video. So, that's why I don't play audio. However, we will just say, um, Alexa, what's the weather like in Las Vegas? Right now in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's 68 degrees with clear skies and sun. Tonight's forecast has mostly clear skies, with a low of 48 degrees. Oh. Well, thank you. So, it's fantastic. And, you know, I played with this yesterday a little bit. I played with it today a little bit. And I tell you, it gets pretty darn loud. Now, if you take it to very max volume, 
There is a little bit of distortion, so you're not going to be able to max it out, but that's to be said with any audio component. There's very few comp audio devices out there that are designed to be maxed out and to not have any distortion. Now, there are some sound bars out there, like my Vizio sound bar, and they say 104 dB at max, you know, maximum volume, no distortion. Um, now, if that is something, and certain products do have that ability, it's because they've integrated that volume control to be maxed out before you hit distortion, whereas this will take you a little bit past. And one thing I like about that is the fact that some audio tracks don't record as loud as others, so it gives you a little bit of headroom there if you have to turn a little bit louder. But I will tell you that this thing is way louder than the factory Amazon Echo, or the Echo Dot, excuse me, and it's a fantastic product. And you know, this is a no-brainer. If you're in the market for getting, um, if I was in the market to getting the Amazon you know, Echo speaker, I would even consider getting the other one because this product is available. Because what this thing does is, although you're gonna have much better, audio, you're gonna have great sound quality and good audio out of it, it allows you to take this thing wherever you wanna take it. You know, you can make, it's portable. And so what's really great about these things is that, and one thing I haven't tested yet is that Amazon actually has a, um, a a whole home audio mode where you can actually play it through all the echoes. And one thing that kind of sucks is like, let's say you wanted to go ahead and, let's say you already have a couple of echoes like I have, the Echo Dots, right? And I want to go ahead and play whole home audio. Well, you know, it sounds kind of crappy coming out of just a standard dot, whereas this one's going to sound good, the other one's not going to sound good. So I would love to get another one of these, and I probably will buy one uh, not too distant future, or for my other Echo. So in the event I want to play whole home audio, I can disconnect them, move them where I want. If I want to go ahead and take, let's say I'm going to have a little party in the backyard, I can take two of them out there and have you know twice the audio. So it gives you a lot of different options for what you want you can do with your Echo. Um, just fantastic device. I just want to thank 97 for the, with their generosity for sending me these devices. Um, it's probably one of my, you know, a lot of companies send me stuff to review and it's getting better and better where because I'm getting such a following on YouTube, I'm getting more stuff from companies uh, to be able to review. So it's, it's really a lot of fun to share this stuff with you guys. And it's a lot of fun to actually get this stuff and to be able to use it and enjoy it. And uh, I will say though, this is one of my most favorite products I've gotten from any company right now. Uh, I love the ability to be able to take this to the backyard. And in the summertime, I spend a lot of time in my backyard because I have it set up with you know the lights and it's a, it's a beautiful garden back there and I have all kinds of shrubs and trees and it's small but it's it's very nice for entertaining and I love having music back there and in the past you know I have a speaker kind of hooked up where I wired into my uh, component upstairs I ran it through the, the ceiling and ran it out back and then I had another stair in the garage and I'm always I never had a great solution for, to have good audio in the backyard and what's awesome about this device now is I can just take this and if I want to just put it in the windowsill with the screen open and this thing's going to be putting out, pumping out all kinds of great sound to the backyard while I'm entertaining. And you know, I'm also looking at getting a hot tub pretty soon, so hopefully next summer this is going to be a great solution. Because you know, when you're in a hot tub, you don't want to be touching anything electronic, right? And so this is great to use your voice to change track, you know, turn the lights on or off. You still have all the functionality uh, hands-free and safe. So again, awesome device if you have an Echo. This can be had for about 50 bucks. This is worth every penny. It's fantastic, guys. So I will put a link in the description where you can pick this up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click the little bell to be notified any time I, time I upload a new video. Uh, guys, thank you very much for subscribing. We're over 8,000 subscribers, and this has been a lot of fun. Stay tuned for more, guys. Stay tuned for more. Have a wonderful night.